Hello, Mr. Red here. Today is May 19th, 2017. Now I'm at the Beehive House here in Covington, Louisiana, about three miles from the Abbey. And today I've got a really special project going on. I'm actually going to be transferring um, the bees uh, in this little nuke box here into the, into the big top bar hot box right here. These bees right here, <clears throat> I pulled out from the ceiling right here on Saturday. And uh, so it, it still hasn't been a week yet, six days since I've done that. And as you can see, there's a lot of bees sitting on that front. They, they really do need to have the room. I was hoping to uh, do the transfer out at the Abbey, but they, they, the, the swarm was so large that they've taken up all the space inside of that box and I need to transfer them now and then I'll move the, uh, the big box out at the Abbey after I leave it out here for a week or so and let them get established in here. But I want to uh, grab the camera and uh, show you the, uh, the way I constructed um, my top bar hot box. It's a, it's a modified one um, and the reason I, I did the modifications, I'll, I'll, I'll point that out to you. So let me grab the camera and show you what we got inside of this box. Uh, the cover, I, I have a flat top on because this whole box is actually going to be going underneath a covered area. So I didn't have to have a pitch on it or anything. And it is it's just a, a flat, flat cover on it. I'm going to take it off. The first thing you'll see inside, I've got a, a sheet of half inch uh, insulation. So when you pull the insulation off, then your bars are exposed. Um, the way I built my bars is, is kind of different in, in a way. And actually the way that I built the box is, is uh, in a way different. The, way, the reason I built the box um, with, with square sides as opposed to um, angled sides is I've noticed when I do the cutouts how um, perfect the combs are when you, when you go to, to remove the comb from in between the space of a floor joist. And so this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm mimicking that, that space of a floor joist. Um, it's a little bit wider than the 16 inch space, but actually the space um, that I, I have is exactly the same space as in a, um, a frame on a Langstroth, a deep 9.58 Super. So here's, here's one of the frames. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's got sides on it. Um, so I built the, uh, the sides, put the sides on it, and then for a, a centering strip, I have these little triangular pieces of wood that I've attached to it, and all of these I've coated with wax. So this is their their center point. Hopefully they'll they'll uh, build a comb on. I've never done this before; it's all new. So when we open up this box, we're going to see how good the experiment is working. But I think I think it'll work pretty good. Another um, thing that may be a little bit different um, when I when I built this box, I used three quarter inch plywood, which is nothing unusual about that. But I I have a um, I have in between uh, two pieces of three quarter inch uh, plywood, I've got one inch foam insulation. So I have one inch foam insulation around the, the, the two sides, the two ends, the bottom, and then up at the top too. So the idea of, of keeping uh, the hive as cool as I can, possibly can, uh, I did it that way. Also, um, in fact, I'll grab the camera right here and I'll show you the inside of this box. And here's our space on the, on the inside of the box. And as you can, as you can see right at, let's see, at this point right here is the ledge where the uh, bars are resting on. And, uh, and then if you notice, I don't have a screen bottom. And the reason I didn't want to put a screen bottom is because in the floor joists, they don't have screen bottoms. And so I wasn't going to put one on this one either. So that's really about the construction of it. There's only one uh, hole in the front. It's a, uh, I think, an inch and a quarter hole, and um, that's really about it. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up, and then actually start transferring the uh, the comb from the little nuke box into here. And grace of God, everything will go well, and these bees are going to be having a new home in just a few minutes. I'm going to try to transfer this uh, all these frames out here without using the smoke on them. I really don't want to put any smoke on them. If I have to, I will. I'm just going to pick the box up, set it on top of the box, and then just start transferring the frames right into this one. And then once I, I do that, then I'll move it forward to where, where that position was already. All right, let's see how things work out.
that box is heavy. I got to tell you, when, when I pull it out from there, and, and I made a video on that, you'll have to go back. I don't know what, um, I made this one a few days ago. But uh, when I pulled it out, there were probably 10, 12, 15,000 bees. Like on the third handful that I grabbed out of there, there was the queen, so I caged her and put her in there. So she's in there, and I'm not going to be looking for her. I'm just pulling out the comb and putting things right, right in order as, as I'm pulling them out. Now I did, I did put um, two frames of drawn out comb in here to start this thing out to give them something to start on. Now remember, this has only been six days since this comb has been in here, this stuff has been in here. Six days right there. I believe this is one of the frames that I had foundation on it. Nope, this is one that they've made. That's six days right there. They are doing beautiful, huh? Wow, we. And yeah, this is the frame that, that I gave them. And this one is chock full of nectar. That frame, that frame weighs a good six to eight pounds right there. Look at the other side of it. They've drawn all that out right there. Oh man, this is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. That is gorgeous. Beautiful comb. This is why I wanted to start doing top bar high because natural comb is so beautiful. Wow, we nice. Now here's another comb, that a uh, section of foundation that I gave to them to start out. No, I'm sorry. This is one they've drawn out. Wow, we fooled me. It's beautiful. Six days. This is the last one, and this is the foundation that I, I put in here.
right. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna just guess four more frames in here. That gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 frames in there right now. So I've got there's my end board right here. You know, I think before I put that in there, I think I'm going to dump the bees um, into the box. I'm going to look down here and see if I can see the queen in here. I can see her walking around. Before I do that, let me slide the box back to where it was. This box weighs about 150 pounds. It's not light. That looks very good. All right, let's see. I want to show you all the bees inside of the box. Let me, let me push these bees into the box. Close this thing up, let them settle in. Well, it didn't go perfect, but it was smooth, smooth enough. And I'm sure I'm going to have plenty of people telling me all the mistakes I made because I know I made mistakes. So come on, help me out. This is my first time here. But I'm really happy about this. I'm excited about the top bar hive, and I know I got a really nice swarm to start it off with. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Red, I'm out of here until the next video.